Hello, my name is Heidi Fisher and today I'm talking to you about what is a changemaker and what are their skills and qualities. So to start with, I thought it would be a good idea just to give you a definition of a changemaker. In my mind, a changemaker is somebody who wants to change something in the world and build a better world. So it's quite a wide definition. There are lots and lots of people that I would consider to be change makers. So people like Jacinda Ardern, the Prime Minister of New Zealand, um, because she's brought a new interpretation of what it means to be a politician because she's had a, a baby while she was Prime Minister and also because she's focusing on well-being as the most important thing in New Zealand as opposed to economic growth. We've also got people like um, Baroness Lola Young, who's um, based in the UK, and she campaigns against modern day slavery and works around gender equality. And for me, she's a change maker because she's very, very passionate about what she does. We've got um, people like Malala, um, who uh, obviously was shot and now campaigns around um, education for um, girls. So an activist, um, Greta Thunberg, who's a, an environmental activist. There's then also people that um, I would class as social entrepreneurs. So people like Vicky Smith, who runs Earth Changers, which is all around um, sustainable travel and tourism. Asha Patel, who runs Innovating Minds, where she's trying to change the way that um, schools approach mental health and get um, support for young people around mental health into schools. And basically, I just think um, from a perspective of who's a change maker, pretty much anyone can be a change maker. And, and the reason for saying that is because the, the skills that are needed to be a change maker are very much like the skills that you would need for anything else in that you're prepared to work to break down barriers and make changes and also be pioneering. So often taking the lead where where other people aren't prepared to do anything so quite you, maybe you have conversations with people and they share their frustrations but you're the one that will actually take the steps to make a change um, so really it's about being courageous enough to to take action where perhaps other people wouldn't necessarily have that courage to step up and do something in in that particular moment um, it's also about taking action now rather than waiting for the perfect moment or for things to be perfect, which is um, a quality that I suppose in, in terms of being a change maker and, and entrepreneurial, if we're prepared to act when we, we've done the best we can rather than waiting for the perfect moment, we're more likely to learn through that process and more likely to achieve something and be able to build on what we, we're actually um, going through as a process. The, I suppose the, the most important things really though are around building relationships based on trust and respect. And the more people you can get to buy into the change that you're trying to achieve, the, the easier it becomes. It's a bit like a snowball, which, um, it starts really really small and as it rolls further and further down the hill it grows in size and that's exactly how um, a change maker gets capacity and enables things to happen through having that skill um, and the I suppose the other thing is not um, knowing where you perhaps don't know everything and being willing to ask for help so pretty much like work in an everyday basis, if you're um, at work and you're not sure what to do, is to ask for help. And it's, it's being modest in the fact that you, you are in this position and not thinking that you know everything. Um, but the, the key things, I think, if I was gonna say to you, um, you may want to consider being a change maker, then it's really about this attitude of seeing possibilities rather than problems. And for me, the, the best example of that was Nelson Mandela when he was um, in prison. I think he always kept a very positive mindset 
and when he came out he saw the, the possibilities for how South Africa could be um, without the, the racism there so um, he's a great example of a change maker and I would encourage you in whatever you're doing to always look for the possibilities rather than the problems so for example with the current coronavirus crisis uh, a lot of people are very focused on the, the health problems, but there are also lots of possibilities for change to happen in terms of how people access services, particularly disabled people, um, and making things much more accessible to people that aren't able to leave the house on a day-to-day -day basis anyway. So there are lots of change makers that are bringing new products and services and innovations to, to the world. And, and that's the approach that you would really need to be thinking and taking. If, um, in terms of just summarizing what I, I feel a change maker is, there are four fundamental things that you, you need to have in terms of qualities or skills in order to, to be successful as a change maker in my mind. Um, I'm sure other people have different views and opinions, but for me, uh, the, the key thing is being able to ask why. And this is something that I always got into trouble um, as a younger person at school and with my parents, because I would always ask lots of questions and it would frustrate them. But it's a great way to learn. It's a great way to understand things, how things work and, and why things perhaps don't work in the way that you would would like them to. The other thing is always to trust your intuition and your gut instinct. Um, we all have it, we don't always listen to it, but um, just follow your intuition. It, it'll be that sensation in your stomach that tells you that something isn't quite right and actually you feel passionate about enough about it to, to do something to make things better. So always, always, trust what your instincts and intuition are telling you about what you could be doing. Um, and then the third one is to try to inspire other people um, as well as inspire yourself. Because if you can inspire yourself with the, the bigger purpose and the passion that you have, then that will keep you going when times are tough. And if you can inspire others, you will have that support and network around you to, to enable you to, to keep going all the time as well. And the fourth and final one is about setting yourself big goals. Now, I'm sure this is something that at, at school, um, they're always talking to you about goals and, and plans and different things. But for me, a change maker has a really big goal or vision of what the world will look like and for example mine is that all businesses will be social enterprises that make a positive impact on people and the planet now that's a big goal because that's converting all the, the corporations international multinational companies into social enterprises but that's something that keeps me going in terms of the work that i do um, and if i didn't have such a big goal then it it probably wouldn't, I probably would have given up by now, to be fair. Um, but by having that big goal and underlying that is my, my drive to, to leave a positive legacy in the world. So the big goals um, are around a vision and leaving a legacy. So really just in terms of you as an individual being a change maker, it could be that you're doing something really small in your local community. It could be that you're doing something global and international. But if you are sitting there and trying to change something or make somebody's life better or improve things for the environment, you are a change maker. Um, whether you want to use that phrase and call yourself that or not, it doesn't really matter. But if you are trying to improve the world or people's lives, then you you fit that category. So just to summarize, the four key qualities that I believe you need to have are asking why, having um, a trust in your intuition and your instincts, um, inspiring others as well as yourself, and setting yourself a big goal or vision. 
So I hope that's helped. Um, obviously, if people do need any more help or information, please do get in touch.